Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to sh be showing you how to use the the rename command for DOS prompt. So base, let's start. So okay. So this is everything that's in my folder, and I want to change some files and folders. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change a folder name. So I'm going to change the folder name cap2 to something else to new new2. So I'm going to type rename. cap2 to new2. So as you can see, it's been changed to new2, as you can see right here in that directory. So that's how you change a folder name in command prompt with the rename command. And the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to convert files, to change file types. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to change my file one to dot txt to my file one dot pdf to do that it's rename my file one dot txt to my file one dot pdf and as you can see <coughs> the file has been changed from dot txt to, to pdf <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing something else. I'm going to be changing going to be using a wildcard command. So I'm going to put the name <coughs> at and as you can see here all the files whether they be .txt .pdf or whatever have been transferred to 2 in the front so before it was my, fi my file 1 my file 2, my file 3 so it's been changed to 2 file I'm going to do something else now <coughs> I'm going to put new, I'm going to change that to new instead, rename, new, so now everything's been changed to new, of course file does show up because I used three characters, so that's how you change file names. If you want to change all of them at the same time, the next thing I want to do is um, I want to change this from PDF to TXT again because that's what I want. So rename. As a matter of fact, I'm going to change all every file to TXT. So so we have to use another wildcard command. The asterisk dot. F to asterisk.txt. So now I have no .pdf files in this folder. And now I want to um, change a directory name. I want to change carp to Card, card one. So now it's card one. So it's been changed. So that's basically it. So let's say I want to change this file to a. Let's say I just want to change the name. 
not the file type. So rename new. And I want to change it to my files. My file 3.txt. And as you can see, I changed it to my file 3.txt. And I could do that if I want to change it to change the name also, you know, change the file type and the name. Let's rename. Let's see, new one.txt to my file one dot pdf. No, the JPEG, let's say. New IE k.txt to my <coughs> file a JPEG, and as you can see, I changed this file to my file.jpg. So that's how you can change um, names in a folder because sometimes when you're doing work on a Windows based computer with command prompt um, you do want to change the folder you want to create some kind of task to change a folder right so I, I'll just create a simple script for that and go off see so, yeah. so this folders and D drive so with the D drive I don't need to do that it's just a single use program okay CD test so I'm going into the test directory and I want to change One <coughs> not two, there's no two in there, sorry. See where that is. See if card infinity is in there. Let me try to So this has changed it to card infinity. And let's write a more interesting program. Let's make it so we can input stuff in here, which will be which will make it more interesting. Start. Um,
Okay, please enter a file name you want to change in, let's say, the test directory. Let's say we know that already. We know we're going to be in the test directory. We want to change stuff in there. set it so that it would go into there it will go into uh, D drive tet and the C directory and, uh, I'm going to just make it so that we can just enter it so percentage sign change this is what I want to change and this is what I want to change to change to gotta put, put the parentheses in here and then then I want to make another three echo do you want to make another change If select is equal to Y, that's yes, yes or no, okay, yes or no. If select is equal to Y, yes, then I'll say go to A, go here. Else if select is equal to n, we'll have to go to start. So we'll be going back here and um, let's continue on. <coughs> It's already in there, okay. It's this thing right here. Change a file name. So I want to change chop. Okay. Else if entry is equal to B, go to C.
I screwed up here. Let's go to A. <laughs> How stupid of me. Let's see. Okay, uh, please enter a file you want to change. I want to change cart to card. Cart. Uh, please enter a file name you want to change to. I want to change it to card1. I said, no, I don't want another one. So that file, cart has been changed to card1 with this simple application script that I created. And um, it's pretty useful. You could use this in a variety of ways this command so let's say um, I have a client who wanted me to change a file name right let's say chop was being used right and uh, at the end of the day chop has to be changed to another uh, folder name because, uh, because, <coughs> because the automated task it uh, is basically uh, going to be used transferring that um, folder to another server somewhere in the somewhere in the company or whatever. Then rename could be pretty useful to use. We don't have to like copy everything to another folder, remove directories, delete stuff. We could just simply change the name, and then at the right time of the day, you know. It, all the files could just transfer there by just simply changing the name. So that's it's it's pretty useful in that way. Okay. Anyways, thanks for watching my Ace 1000KS 197.